you went through the door, you shot the gun, you killed that little boy and shot the four others. You did. Judge Anthony DiAppolito speaking the hearth truth to Brandon Crump before issuing a lengthy prison sentence. Hello, I'm Stan Boney. I'm Lindsay Watson. It's been nearly four years since that tragic night in Struthers when Rowan Sweeney was murdered and four others were shot. Today, the man who pulled the trigger, Brandon Crump, was sentenced to 52 to 53 and a half years to life in prison. As you can imagine, it was an emotional day in court. With details of the Crump sentencing, reporter Jacob Thompson has our top story tonight. September 21st, 2020, will forever be the worst day of my life. After years of waiting for justice to be served, Rowan Sweeney's parents had the chance to speak directly to the man who took their son's life. Brandon Crump is convicted of murdering the child inside of a home in Struthers almost four years ago. Shot five people with the intent to murder them all. You executed a sleeping child in their own home. I use the word execution because you purposely shot him in the head multiple times. For years, I have sat back and asked myself why. Why did you feel the need to murder a sleeping, innocent four-year-old? I begged you to not take my son's life. He didn't even know you were there. Crump is the last of three men who were sentenced in this case. Earlier this month, Andre McCoy was given 15 years to life. Kamani Bryant was given 20 years to life. While Crump didn't speak in court today, his attorney argued Bryant and McCoy could have prevented the tragic shooting before Crump ever arrived. This was a robbery set up by Andre McCoy and Kamani Bryant. However, Judge Anthony DiAppolito said it was still Crump who made the decision to shoot the gun. He believes Crump deserves a more severe sentence. The law does not allow me to impose life without parole. That is what I believe you deserve. If anyone in any case I've seen deserves it, this is the case. Crump was sentenced to 52 to 53 and a half years to life in prison. Now Rowan's loved ones, especially his parents, David Sweeney and Alexa Snyder, can start the healing process. His love and the love we all share for him will never fade. I have been his mother since I was 16 years old, and I will continue to be his mother for the rest of my life, even in spirit. He made me into the man I am today. I am beyond proud to call myself his father. Rowan not only impacted my life drastically during his short four years on earth, but even after his murder. Reporting for WKBN 27 First News, I'm Jacob Thompson. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.